And fam, welcome back today. We are doing a wear test using the new Hourglass Foundation. I am in the shade 15. Let's go ahead and get into the demo. All right, Ampham. So I did not buy this foundation just simply because I wasn't sure. I just got a sample to test it out. And as you can see, upon approval, approval, upon application, this is full on coverage, okay? But it's not so much to the point that you feel like you have on shellac on your face, you know what I mean? Just very, very beautiful. I love the shade of this. The interesting thing is that 15, I believe, it says that the description, it's cool. Um, this does not look cool tone to me. This is one of those situations where, you know, you look at the description, you see what it says, but you also more so always need to go off of how it is looking on the skin. So this is super blendable. I had no problems blending it out. You don't have to do any crazy tips, techniques, use whatever tool you want. I'm using a brush because that's just how I like to apply my foundation and it just gives a beautiful, smooth, smooth finish. I feel like my face looks airbrushed, my pores aren't popping, like it just looks really, really good. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my concealer and blend that out. And then once I have my concealer on, I like to go ahead and immediately set it with powder. Everything that I'm using will be down below in the description. You guys know I have been raving about these puffs from Amazon to set up under the eyes. I will make sure that is down there below as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face, um, really making sure that I am getting those areas where I tend to get uber, uber greasy because I am an oily skin gal. Now this product here, this is the Benefit New Brow Pencil. Um, I've been using it for about a month now. I've got my thoughts on it. Let me know if you guys want my favorite like brow products video. I can do that for you. Okay, this is our finished look. So it is currently 9.25. I've got clients today. It is cloudy, it's humid. So we're gonna see how she holds up. Okay, first check-in, it is 1.38. I am all done with my clients. This is what my face is looking like. I do not need to blot whatsoever. The only thing that I do notice is that it kind of like creases in my smile lines a little bit, but other than that, y'all, like I can just blot that. We're good. Make that go away. Looking good. So far, so good. Okay. All right, I am back home and it is currently 8.07. I have not done any blotting all day with the exception of, I went to the chiropractor today and you have to like put your face smushed down into the little thing. So that would be the only blotting that we've done per se. But other than that, this is what my face is looking like. Now I am going to do like an actual official blot because I am due <laughs> in this time. And you guys know my theory in regards to how I judge if a foundation is oily skin friendly or not, or if it works on me, understand that if you have oily skin, you can't change that, okay? You can put all the primers on, you can do all the things. If you are just a naturally oily skin human being, your oil is gonna push through, that's not a bad thing. My gauge is how long does it take for my oil to push through and become aggressive? I've been fine with this all day long. I went, I had clients this morning. I was out, it's humid, it was rainy. It held up really, really well. My favorite thing about this foundation is the finish. It just looks so beautiful. Think just like beautiful, soft red carpet. That's the vibe that I get. Very different from the Lancome foundation. And oh, update with this one really quickly. I ended up finding shade 515W. So this is the correct shade for me. I had 455W, that was too light. I had 510N and it was okay, but I just felt like it could be a little better if it was warmer. So I do have this shade. Um, the hourglass is not like this. This is gonna give you that nice soft glow. This almost pulls, I feel more as like a soft matte moment, which I'm not mad at just simply because I'm at a place where I don't care for uber, uber matte moments anymore on my skin. I just feel it intensifies the texture, just makes, 
the skin just don't be skinning like it used to be whenever I wear matte foundations and you know as we progress in life we become more mature our makeup taste changes as well but I love the finish of this this is a foundation that I would wear for a special occasion this isn't a foundation I would wear just on a day-to-day -day basis because I do feel like it's one of those more glamorous va ba boom and I think it is perfect for that. Now, of course, you do you. If you want to wear it every day, go for it. I did get a lot of compliments on my makeup today when I was out and about, so I love it when that happens, especially if I'm doing a wear test on a product because it lets me know, okay, especially if I like it, it lets me know y'all see it it lets me know that if y'all see it and i'm liking it then it's really good so as far as the hourglass foundation i think it is fantastic it is oily skin approved now i just need to figure out am i gonna purchase it or not because i got a sample y'all listen i I ain't on nobody's PR list, okay? And to keep up with the YouTube and the beauty world, constantly bye, 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 y'all know I keep it a buck with you. I am not in a place where I can do that. I'm just not. So I went and I got a sample of this. And my rule of thumb now, if I buy a new foundation, that means I have to get rid of another one. So I'm gonna be having a declutter coming up soon because I just need to go through my vanity and my personal makeup and just, you know, pull some things out that have maybe are getting ready to expire and whatnot. But this is a foundation I will buy. So now I just have to figure out what's going away. But that is going to wrap up my final thoughts on the new Hourglass Foundation. Down below in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried it? Have you not? And before anyone starts going crazy in the co in the comments, I don't like Hourglass because blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Relax. Breathe. Have a moment. Have a cocktail. Whatever, whatever you got to do. It's just me. I didn't review this because I love hourglass. I reviewed this because I love makeup. Keep it simple.